Welcome to my life. This is my baby daughter, Hannah. I'm surrounded by computer parts and boxes. It's looking like another great week. You agree? Of course you do. Excellent! Uh, hi, I'd like to make an appointment to bring my truck in for service. We're trying to get a lot done today, and the next item on the to-do list is to bring my car in for service. It is overdue. I don't drive my truck too much. It's a 2013 Toyota Tacoma. It still has less than 50,000 miles on it, but every six months I do bring it in for service, oil change, and whatever else they say needs to be done. Fortunately, I've already got a ride home lined up. You had to film everything, huh? Oh, yeah, it's Joe. This means I can document stuff now without being driving at the same time, which seems a little bit safer to me. We spent most of the morning so far setting up eBay sales for Paul's shameless summer sale, and uh, that's actually going on right now. We, we're setting it up now, but the video should already be up, and the, and the auction should be live prior to this video going up. But I wanted to point something out here, and I have Joe here to, to validate for me, is that uh, all of these auctions are, are profiting me, but I actually have a long-term plan that it was a secret, I wasn't gonna tell you guys until now, which is I'm actually gonna be donating half of the proceeds from those auctions to charity. I didn't wanna start that out from the get-go, because then people say like, oh, you're using charity to try to make more money for it, which I don't wanna do, that's stupid. But, if I do it after the fact, then I think it's okay. I still haven't decided which charity to donate to, though. I know there's several that I have donated to in the past that I kinda like, but if you guys have any suggestions, uh, leave them in the comment section down below. In the meantime, we have three, four more stops to make. We're gonna go to the bank, we're gonna get some Mexican food, we're gonna go to the pet food store, and we're gonna go to the P.O. Box. Isn't this exciting? Joe? Yeah, I'm probably putting wear and tear on my car. Yeah, it's cool, Paul. Joe's excited too. Yeah. Trip to the bank was successful. Ah, ah. As you can see, I have money that I'm dropping everywhere. We're now getting dog food. This is Friends Forever, uh, which you guys should totally visit. Everyone support your local independently owned dog food store because they have Sheba right out front. Hi, puppy. Hello. Hello. Oh, good dog. Now, my dogs love these duck flavored dog treats. We actually crumble them up and put them on their dog food. Joe, Joe has some special treats he gets here. They're called choppers. It's dehydrated lung and liver. Oh. Is this is this what you've been getting? Yeah. Or is this new you just spotted and it looks interesting? No, that's what I've been getting. So oh. my pug. Oh. Yeah, should I give her this whole piece? Lung and liver. Those pugs are. They're, they're getting shot they down. Like, they like their protein. <laughs> we'll give you the nuggets. Apparently, Paul doesn't know what a joke is. Oh, sorry. The joke went over my head. These, these are far too big for a pug, obviously. She's actually a puggle. A puggle. All right, so we're getting bully nuggets, which are more reasonably sized. All right. If you're wondering, we're currently feeding our dogs Victor, super premium dog food. This is beef meal and brown rice. And the other nice thing about going here to Friends Forever is they give you a bunch of samples. Like these are extra treats and other stuff. This was all free, free, except for those. I bought those. You know, back when I was taking a Spanish class in high school, the name I went by was Pancho. So technically this is my house. Anyway, we're getting lunch. We have delicious Mexican food, but I offended Joe. I don't know, I offended Joe somehow. <laughs> Get out of my car! Sorry, Joe. <laughs> Apparently, Pa doesn't like green sauce. What a jerk. I don't like any salsa, which is which is why. Green sauce is it's about taste, not about heat. I'm I'm guilty of talking down on stuff that Joe likes, mm -hmm. which which is which sucks because I try not to do that. Like I, honestly, I want I want people to enjoy thing the things that they love, and I don't want to be come and be like, no, you shouldn't like that for whatever reason. I've done that many times in the past. Do you want me to like since you're filming this? You want me to go into detail what you did? Like. No, okay. I mean, kind of. I, I mean, like, I don't because it would be uncomfortable for me, you know, exposing my, my shortcomings here live like, on camera. Okay, I'll just leave that as that I want to keep my job. And now let's see if anyone sent anything to the P.O. box. That's mine. Hey, hey. Got a special key that means we have something that's a bigger package over here. Ooh. All right, well that's something at least. Something from Amazon. So we'll open this on the live show tonight. I feel bad I did not share our lunch experience with you guys. It was delicious though. Right now though, Hannah is very mad. She, she just made a tinkle in her diaper. She's super pissed about that. And we're finishing up getting all these listings done. Doing some packaging. This is, this is the grab bag right here. Big old mix of stuff for that one. That's gonna be fun. 
Just one or two things left to do today. I still get to record some voiceovers. That'll be exciting. Look at that. Look at that big old pile of boxes. All packed up. Good to go. We had a good production line going on here. I was uh, getting the parts listings and everything. Joe was doing most of the packing, so actually worked out really well. We've significantly reduced this area over here. I still, of course, need to do a little bit more tidying up. We have our housekeepers coming back again this week, so that'll be nice. Um, but ignore all this. Let's go out here. I need to record a voiceover for a pre-roll, a Corsair pre-roll to be specific. I'm gonna use this mic out here, and I don't think I ever really show myself recording my voiceovers for pre-rolls, uh, so I'm gonna do that right now. Voiceover for Corsair Hydro X series pre-roll ad. Gotta use my announcer voice. Announcer voice! When recording a voiceover for a pre-roll, it helps to get yourself in the right mindset, the right mood. You want to present yourself in such a way that the audience will be seduced by your voice into buying the product that you're talking about, so let me give it a shot here. The Hydro X series is Corsair's new line of custom cooling... Ah, oh, that's stupid. That was stupid. <laughs> you barely did only one sentence, how was that stupid? Because you got, that's the other thing you have to recognize early, bad takes so you can cut your losses and move on. And also having Hero breathing heavy in the background, not so good for this type of work, Hero. I'm sorry. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do a normal voice. Just talk like, like normal, like I'd be talking to you guys right now. The Hydro X series is Corsair's new line of custom cooling parts built for the world's most powerful and stunning systems. They've gone all out with CPU and graphics card water blocks, pump reservoir combos, fittings, tubing, radiators, and coolant, providing you with everything you need to build a spectacular custom cooling loop that lowers system temperatures and improves performance, complete with vivid RGB lighting. Click the sponsor link in the video description to learn more. Look guys, our house cleaning service came once again and uh, everything's pretty tidy. Even this area over here that I've been working on paring down is in much better shape than it used to be. And that is largely thanks to the eBay project that I've been doing, uh, which you guys have probably been, been watching some of right now. And I do still have a bit more work to do. Uh, we took pictures of everything out here and got a little bit of video to post in the video, but I still need to take all those items and uh, make the eBay listings for them so I can kick off that video. Here's the living room. We need to wash the couch cover, but you know, we'll handle that soon. My wonderful daughter Hannah is over here on her play mat. Look at her stars and stripes romper. Isn't that isn't that awesome and patriotic? Very patriotic Hannah. She's staring at her little parrot there. Oh yes he's so happy. He's so happy about the parrot. It's your parrot. It is very easy to get distracted by her. Moving on though. So my plan for the rest of the day today is just to chill here at the dining room table with my laptop and create eBay listings because I have I think 20, around 20 of them to make. I might even make some extras to add in that we didn't actually kind of cover in the video about it, but uh, still remains to be seen. And then Joe's coming back over tomorrow so we can make uh, our third video for the week. No. Somebody's hungry. You are. Here's a little in-between project. This is my in-laws computer actually made up of my wife's old monitor uh, We have a ps2 keyboard. This is a cyber power pre-built and I know I've done a little bit of work on it before I actually replaced the power supply So it has a really nice power supply other than that. Uh, I don't know. It's not in that great a shape Apparently there's nothing appearing on the monitor. So let's see what the problem might be. Listen to these post beeps Too short for long Gosh, it's been a while since I've had to deal with post beeps. I'm going to just check and see if everything's seated properly. Ooh. So I just powered it on again. And I think I figured the problem out. This is supposed to be spinning. That's actually quite hot. That thermal paste was like super dried and caked on there, which probably means that uh, the fan hasn't been working for a while and it's been heat cycling, which hardened it. But uh, fortunately, I've got this cleaned up a little bit. Uh, this is an interesting little system. It's got like an Athlon 2 Kingwin Laser Platinum power supply, which is what I installed there. So it's a very, very efficient computer. But uh, I would like upgrade it, but I think they're pretty like happy with this. It's just that it wasn't working and they only do basic internet browsing and stuff, so it doesn't really need an upgrade. I do want to replace the, well I could just replace the fan, but this is also all full of 
dust and gunk and stuff. So, and I actually have like several other AMD uh, heat sinks just around because you know I collect this sort of thing. This one's probably a little on the small side. This one has been up in my background for quite some time, so might as well put it to use. Go ahead and give it some MX4. Hey, it works. Let's see if that actually fixes it though. Oh, this screen is dirty. It just made a post beep and then it did not follow it up with the error code post beep, so that's good. I was not getting a signal on the original monitor, so I plugged in a monitor that I know works. Not getting a signal there either, but the system does seem to be booting up, at least with uh, the behavior of the mouse and the keyboard. So that makes me think there's another problem, which is probably with this passively cooled graphics card. Let's pull it out. The motherboard does appear to have a VGA out, so I'm hoping that there is some integrated graphics and that might work and that might be why it's not outputting graphics via the PCIe slot connected graphics card. Um, unfortunately, this monitor, which does appear to be working, it, it shows a splash screen when you turn it on and everything, uh, does have a VGA in. So hooray for old analog connections. Let's go for some VGA. Well, what do you know? We have a picture. Also, Hannah's crying. She's, she's hungry or something. All right, and after waiting through Windows Startup Repair to tell us that it couldn't fix it and then restarting it and then it now working, it now appears to work. But I'm going to recommend actually that we give them an upgrade pretty soon, but I did want to get this system back up and running so that they can get back into all their accounts and make sure they have everything copied or logins or whatever other pictures and stuff they have stored backed up. Uh, maybe we'll do another like mom and pop build soon. See what we can put together for that. That could be fun. Well guys, we are nearing the end of the work week and I think I should cut this video off because uh, it's been going for a while and I have no idea how long it actually is. But Joe's back and we're doing yet another video today, Mass Unboxing, which might be interesting because you guys have probably already seen that video because it's probably already gone up over the weekend. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, just sort of a walkthrough of the week, trying to get as much work done here at home and in my little garage studio as possible. Also, if you guys didn't realize, that auction video that we were working on is, uh, well, that's already posted, but the auctions are ongoing. So if you guys are interested, feel free to check those out now that you know my hidden secret behind my actual MO for that. But uh, let me know what you think of this video. Hit the thumbs up button if you did enjoy it. Uh, say, say hi to Joe in the comments, and uh, we'll see you guys next time. Thanks.